Hi, this is Jim, the Band Instrument Quick Fix Guy. Today's topic is how to give a French horn a bath without wrecking the uh, lacquer or anything like that. And all the techniques that we use on the horn are applicable to all brass instruments. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you take out all the slides and the valve covers. And if you're not sure that you're going to remember how they go, then you're going to want to take a picture of it before you start and then start taking all the slides out. All right, so we're going to do that right now. While we are time lapsing, use lukewarm water. Hot water hurts the lacquer. Cold water won't cut the grease. The soap is Dawn liquid soap. Dawn has grease cutting ingredients that help clean the grease and oil. Be sure to hold down the valve paddles while removing the slides. This releases air and keeps the rotors air tight. A lot of popping of the valves and things like that without depressing the valves can loosen up the rotors inside. For the bottom slides, depress the valve paddles and the thumb valve. Okay, and I'm going to take, you're going to need a snake. This is a little vinyl one, you, they come in uh, springy metal too. And set it off to the side. And you want to wipe off the old grease and then run it through. Rinse the brush so you don't bring the gunk back through. Some of these tubes are going to be a real tight curve, so you may not get the snake all the way through it. And that's okay, you just rinse it off, put it through the other side. Getting most of it, that's okay. This one is definitely going to have too tight a turn in it, so we'll just do that side, rinse, do that side, rinse. Now this one, I don't know, this one might be able to do it. It's going pretty good. Ah, nope. It hits that real L shape there. This is a school-owned horn. It's not too old though, but I'm pretty much expecting just about anything to come out of it. I can really feel the grease in my hands. All right, here comes one. Okay, so that's about it. Don't want to force it too much. All right, I think I've got them all. Now you go to the main body. And you just do each tube best you can. Top and bottom.
Alright, we got about that far. I'm gonna try to just see if you've gotten anything dislodged. And sometimes it's dirty, it flicks out at me. I just got a bunch of gunk on me. So don't wear good clothes for this. All right, now, this one is probably gonna be the dirtiest of all, because it's the lead pipe. It's where a lot of students uh, blow their lunch after. They come to band after eating lunch. The particles go in there. Not too bad, this one is actually not too bad at all. A little gunky. Oops. Try to clean that up before the wife gets home. All right. Okay. Turn it upside down. So really get everything. Now you want to make sure you wiggle the valves underwater so you're opening up all the tubes. All right. Okay, now, um, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to see if I can go all the way down this way and get that too. It's a pretty short snake. I have a longer one. We want a long one for trombones, a longer one because obviously they got the tubing. Some tubas might need the longer one. Trumpets, of course, get away with the short one easily, no problem there. Um, but, uh, all right, I'm actually surprised. This is a school horn. It's uh, quite a few years old, but it's never been cleaned, to my knowledge, anyway. So, next thing you do after that is you drain the water out, and you're going to rinse all the soap out and then put clean water in with no soap and uh, and then rinse all the soap out of it and then when that's done uh, you just re-grease the slides re-oil the valves and uh, put it back together again and it should be as good as almost new All right, so now we have uh, towel dried everything. And the first thing you wanna do is you want to oil the tops of the valves. Wiggle them a little bit. There we go. And then you put the caps on so the oil doesn't dribble away as you're moving the horn around. And to save time, I've got a few of these slides already done. But what I did before I put them in is I put oil down each tube. I just squirted it down each tube before I oil them, or before I grease the slides so that the oil doesn't uh, hurt or take away the, uh, the grease. And so, uh, so I'm going to continue on with what I was doing, which is... Uh, greasing the slides. When you grease the slides, you want to just do some around here and here. You don't have to do the whole slide because what's going to happen is, oops, got the wrong slide here. You're going to put it in and then it's going to slide down. And if you do the whole slide, it all gobbles up here. But if you just do a little bit, see, so all I got is just a tiny little bit left there. You don't waste any. All right. So then let's do this. Now, uh, you can use lanolin for slide grease. You can use uh, any kind of store-bought slide grease. I prefer the Shilky slide grease because it lasts a long time. And make sure you hold down the thumb valve and the first valve when you're doing the bottom slides. That turned out really well. And then, now here, they're too close together for me to get my finger in between there, right? So, what I like to do in that case, is I put one on at a time. 
and I wiggle it around. And then this one's a little harder. Can't get quite so far. Pull this out. No, it's not going to work. Okay. So. Hmm. Well, there we go. We can do it on that slide. And then finally you've got this slide again just around the tip don't have to do the whole slide put it in wipe off any excess then this horn happens to have a hand guard you can just put that back on and it also has a pencil clip you can put that back on see how the pencil goes there this is really made for those wire stands, but I found that they work great on the French horn tubes. And then the kids always have their pencils with them. All right, so that's how you clean a horn and any brass instrument, really. Thanks for watching today. Hope you learned something.